everybody welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be doing a room tour what I'm gonna be doing today I have been putting off this room tour video for a bit now because I wanted to do it when I finished painting and I obviously have not done that yet because it's gonna be such a big job because I have like so much shit everywhere in every single room just clutter 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 doing like a update like room tour of like everything painted it will probably look a lot different than it does now so so things probably are gonna change let's go into my cave when you come up to my door it just has the sign it says welcome they're just like potion bottles I got this from the Dollar Tree last Halloween the door and then I just got my ghost face purse and my sunglasses hanging out of it so so, so this is a, what my bedroom looks like when you walk in I have all kinds of shit everywhere so this video is gonna be a bit long but I'm gonna try to Go through it as fast as I can because there's a lot of shit so well I have my pin board it's just all of my horror Christmas tree ornaments hanging up so I have Billy from saw I have the terrifier pin I have Michael Myers I have Jason oh, oh okay nice Jason nice I have Tiffany, I have Freddy Krueger, I got this cute little Jason and it has like a saying, a leather face right there with his Christmas lights. So and then Jason fell on his face. Up I have just some pictures of just me and family so that's cute. The side here I have a sign that says beware and I got this from the thrift store but I'm pretty sure it's from Michaels because of the price tag I recognized it so and then I got this uh, Victorian mi mirror from a thrift store it actually sits up on its own but it kept falling so I'm like screw it I'm gonna put it on the wall so Hi. And I got a black coffin. I came with one of my zombie forever collectible dolls. So I kept the coffin and painted it and I got a keychain from the Saskatoon convention that I went to this year. And I got Thing. Super cute. It's just a keychain but I just put Thing in there because I just wanted to put something in there so it's not like so bare so this a Victorian picture frame from a thrift store either Valley Village or Salvation Army and in an inside this is actually a napkin and I used it just as a picture just to put something in it um, so it's just a napkin with like a skull with some like design here and then a dead moth so I just thought it looked pretty cool so napkin helps <laughs> if you guys don't have pictures use cool napkins like this over here I have another Victorian frame it has nothing in it because I haven't decided what I want to put in it yet but I also got this at the Salvation Army and then over here I have like another Victorian frame I also got this at the thrift store too and that's just another napkin just like a different one just a skull and like a little dead moth there but it's kind of hiding a little bit another coffin again this is a zombie forever collectible doll coffin thing packaging thing that I got and I just painted it black and then I put up my new Tiffany Funko Pop that I got from the Saskatoon convention this year so she just chills in there so again it's not bare <laughs> And then over here I have a shelf and then I have this like vase and it has like these skulls all over it 
and I just added some black roses and I got this for Christmas and I'm pretty sure I got these from the thrift store I'm pretty sure and then down here I have the skull dude doing a bridge <laughs> I got him for Christmas too so I'm not really sure where he's from so I have my Chucky doll and my Tiffany doll so they just chill up there and watch me sleep. Pretty much watch me do everything. <laughs> and then I have a Chucky cup that I got actually here in Saskatoon when I first came to visit here. I found that cup at Winners. It was a good price, so I got it. So it just chills up there with Chucky and Tiffany. I thought it would be a good theme for that. So the next shelf, I have this freaky spooky tree I got that from the dollar store Could glitter all over it you guys probably can't see it but there's like black glitter all over it it's really pretty dollarama I got this Ouija skull little statue thing for Christmas it just says yes no and then the little Ouija alphabet going on up there on his forehead a pretty cool piece and then I got this cool like skull doll um, I got her at a thrift store actually so I thought she was pretty cool and then in the corner I have the skull lady bride is chilling out in the corner because I had no idea where else to put her because she's like really long as you can see so I just put her up in the corner and she just and then on this shelf here, I have this black dress, necklace, earring holder. I got this at the thrift store too. Um, I got this skull lady doll for Christmas. She's really cool looking. She's like a Victorian skull doll, but she's really awesome. I've never think she's gorgeous. And then on the side of her is just her black cat. They just chill out together. It's just a glass black cat because I love black cats. So back here on my dresser, I have my PlayStation because I like my video games. I got my TV. Hey. And then I have two tea lights. I have like this zombie tea light holder. I did have a tea light in here, but it fell over there. And then I got too lazy to get it, so it's chilling like this. And then I have a witch hand here. The tea light looks like that. That was supposed to be over here, but it fell. And then she just still has hers, so. Um, I got these for Christmas. And I have this spooky house that I got from a thrift store. My parents actually got it for me. Super pretty. You can put like a tea light behind there and it lights up. But it's really cute. I really like it. So matches the room. So super cool. Over here I have more of my horror pins, more of my little Funko Pop dudes. Just really nerdy things that I like to collect because I'm a big weirdo so and then I have my Ouija candle I got this from I think Canadian Tire and it lights up and then I got this Ouija board it actually turns on I don't know if it's gonna turn on but is it gonna turn on no it's making me look like a liar I got this Ouija pan slut Panchettes or palette? You get what I mean. I can't pronounce the word, but I did get this at Spirit Halloween. I thought it was perfect for my theme, so I thought that was pretty cool. Again, Ouija, Ouija, Ouija. And then I got this awesome ghost face print from the Saskatoon convention that I went to this year. He is badass. I had to get him. The crazy artwork on this photo is amazing. So I did tag the artist on Instagram if you guys are wondering who the artist is. So follow me on Instagram if you guys are not already. Pretty sick photo, I'd say. And then on the side, I have this skull 
candlelight thing. It actually lights up, but I never have it lit though because I feel like the batteries die a lot in it, so it just kind of hangs out like that. <laughs> so I got that from a Dollarama. I got a A for Amber because that's my name. Um, you can get these letters anywhere. I'm pretty sure I got that at the thrift store. Um, down here I have these black square shelves. I got these black square shelves from thrift store. So in the inside I have my little skull Halloween car because I love that car. And then I have this skull tea light. I know I need to dust, but uh, my ass is just too lazy. And up here I have these little decor Victorian pieces. I don't know. They just hang up here and make the room look cool. I got this whole set from a thrift store. They're just really cool looking and they're sparkly and that, but there's probably a shit ton of dust on them because, you know, I'm just the girl. These two dolls are from the thrift store. I need to actually glue her hat back on because it keeps falling off and it drives me nuts. So I got Andy. He's a very old doll. Pretty cool how I found them both at a thrift store. Then I have this horror carpet that I got for this or my birthday. I can't remember, but it has Chucky, Jason, Billy, Freddy, Pennywise, Michael, and Leatherface. These were my favorite ever. And I got my uh, Cindy Lou Who socks on and my Grinch socks. <laughs> Here I have this red carpet. I got this from Value Village, I think. And then my cat's bowl. They like to make a mess with the food. I got this bowl from the dollar store. They also have a water bowl that's the same. And I thought it was really cute because it had kitty ears on it. How cute. I have like these string lights hanging up on my window here. They turn on. I do turn them on sometimes, not all the time. But here is my bed. Don't make fun of my bed making skills. I am horrible at making my bed, as you guys can see. But you know what? I try. So, and my cat is having a snooze. You see, Ben Beeps? Wanna say hello? Hey. Hi. Need a baby. Bed, fluffy blanket that I put on my bed. Cats love this blanket. And then I have a Jason pillow. I got my little Squishmallow skull dude there. I got my cat pillow. I got my favorite gnome ever. I actually got this at Marshalls or Winners. And then I got the Squishmallow from the Dollarama. I got the cat pillow from the Dollarama. That pillowcase I'm pretty sure off Amazon or Wish or something. I can't remember. A sequin pillow, a black one, some red ones, a black and silver one. You just move it and it's really fun. It just changes patterns and shit. You know, you can see it. This is what my cover looks like that you guys can't see. That's what it looks like. So it's pretty sick. For here, I have a photo of me and Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead. I actually went to a Toronto convention in 2017 and met him. So there's my photo op with him. Pretty cool. Here, I have another shelf. I got the black shelf from the thrift store. So there is Michael Myers and there's Schmiggles. My... Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers autograph from the girl that played Jamie. And then I have the prop from Halloween 2, the guy that played Michael Myers. I'm pretty sure that's his signature, so I have that. I got these two things from BAM when I got their box. And then I got now their autograph from my really good friend Travis. He went out of his way to do that for me. And there it is, just chilling on my wall. So thank you again, Travis. It looks badass. I'm so happy. Other shelf, I have more Funko Pops. I have uh, Daryl Dixon from The Walking Dead, which is him right there. 
and I have his dog right there. I have uh, Leatherface, Hannibal Elector, and Maleficent. So those are my Funko Pops. And then I got another photo autograph from the convention guy in Saskatoon when I went this year. That's another one of his art prints that he does. So I thought it was pretty sick. And over here I have like this skull prisoner dude. <laughs> I got him from the dollar store. Any of the Puppet Masters, if you guys ever watch the Puppet Masters, that's what he reminds me of. Just a little Puppet Master hanging out in my room right now. I got the husband, or the groom, to the uh, Skull Bride over there. This is her husband, so he chills over here. And he's really long, so I just kind of put them in the corner, and he just kind of chills with him too. So, Chucky Funko Pop, my Sam Funko Pop. And on this shelf, I have this skull lantern. It actually turns on. It changes colors, so pretty cool. And then I have this voodoo doll. I actually put pins in it. As you can see, that pink pin right there. Pins actually go in it. And you can put incense in the back of it, and the eyes smoke and stuff pretty cool little little dude skull dude for Christmas and I got him I'm pretty sure for Christmas one year so here I have my horror street signs Elm Street and Camp Crystal Lake backdrop here is just a sequent red backdrop <laughs> it's actually just a fabric that I had and I just put it back here to give it some color and just to make it look cool as you guys can see it like reflects all like glittery and pretty and stuff and I just think it matches with like this and my decor and stuff so and then on this shelf I have this little like genie bottle and then there's like these red flowers with these uh, glittery skulls they're like styrofoam and I got this from Dollar Tree in their Halloween section. I got this from the thrift store. This is also from the thrift store to the candle holder. I got two. It's pretty cool. Looks like a spike. And you just put like a candle in there. And I got this skull candle. I actually got this from the Dollar Tree in their Halloween section. I'm pretty sure they have this candle like all the time. So I have all my dolls. I have I have a baby Yoda. I have Gizmo. I actually my mom and I made this Jason doll together. I got Leatherface, Sam, me and my mom made that together. I got Vampria. These are the van uh zombie forever dolls. This is one of them. And then here's another one right here. I got a Monster High doll here. She's like a zombie girl. I got Annabelle and her little sign that says Miss Me. It always comes off. So I think she's trying to tell me something like, Miss Me? <laughs> Homemade Annabelle case my mom made for me. Because <laughs> you, if you guys know, Annabelle is actually a Raggedy Ann doll. This is actually what she looks like. She's not the prop that they use in The Conjuring. <laughs> There's like a little Bible that she's holding. And then um, this is just a warning that is on Annabelle's like case. And then there's like this devil card. And then I got this alien ball. My dad actually gave this to me, so. <laughs> and then I have a Pennywise. I have another, I have a Harley Quinn Monster High doll, and then I have Reagan from The Exorcist. I have Pennywise, I, I have my ghost face mask that I made, it just chills up there. I have more of my little mini Funko Pops that I keep up here. I have my light that I turn on, just do this, and it turns on, pretty cool. Hi, there's a mirror here that I have. My closet door, I have this 
no evil speak no evil hear no evil doll she's really cool looking i love her uh i got her at marshall's around halloween time because i thought she was pretty cool like she got like the red in her hair and all that like i love that she's pretty badass so she just chills there and on my other shelf here i have this stack of skulls this actually does light up too and then i have my cauldron I actually got this at the dollar store. This I got for Christmas. Um, the shelves I actually got at the dollar store too. All of them. And then I have my lamp. I actually made this. I just put like this on top, glued it, and then I just stuffed it with like black and red roses and stuff. Because you can add like really exciting things in there. So this is just what I did. And it looks badass, so I really like it. And I have like one of those different colored lights. You just turn the buttons on, it turns like any color you want on the controller. It's pretty cool. I have one in here, and I have one in my living room. So here, I have some of my perfumes. Just the ones that I use all the time. The other ones I have are in there. Um, I have my flesh-eating plants here. Um, my little Audrey, she's my protector, she is stunning, so she just chills there, she won't bite me though, she, she bites other people, so we gotta keep Audrey happy or else you're gonna be lunch, <laughs> and then I got this cool like sequence tray, um, I think I got this at Fabricland a long time ago, but it's just like this really pretty sparkly tray and I just use it for my perfumes. Funny because some people are like, Amber, why do you have your dress hanging up in your room like that? I'm like, it's not a dress. <laughs> it's actually like one of those things that go over beds. And then I ended up adding that red sequence belt to it just to make it pop more and it just, it just hangs up like this. But you can take it off and wash it. You just can't dry it. You that is that.